In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that neck pain you get in your upper trap after lifting. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. If you're a lifter, I'm sure you've experienced at one time or another that dull sort of achy pain that you get in your upper trap after lifting. Let's talk about how to fix it. Now, step one is often some soft tissue work. Now, if you have a friend around the house that wants to be a mean massage therapist to you, you can just take that thumb and dig it into it. And as you can tell, it's not too much fun, but <laughs> something like this for about a minute or so can be really helpful. But if you don't have that friend that wants to be a little mean to you for a second, come on over here. Let's talk about how to fix it. We're gonna start off grab a ball, okay? You're gonna put that into your upper trap area where you find that tender trigger point, and you're just gonna roll on it against the wall. Now, the idea is that we're trying to be a mean massage therapist to ourselves in similar ways that you would do soft tissue foam rolling application to any other part of your body where you have some stiffness or some soreness. You wanna go slow and you wanna find some of those tender areas. Now, you don't wanna go fast and try to just breeze over it really quickly. When you find a spot that's nice and tender in that upper trap, I want you to sit on it and I want you to pause for a couple seconds, sometimes up to 20 to 30 seconds. Deep breathing in and out, try to relax into it. Now, another progression you can do with this is once you tack that down, is you can also start moving that arm up and down, which is gonna be lengthening and shortening the trap muscle. So we're doing a little bit of what Kelly Starrett would call poor man's ART, active release technique. So we're tacking it down. We're creating a lot of pressure on that part of dysfunctional tissue. Basically, we're getting a little bit of that trigger point work and then moving the arm up and down. Now, after this should be feeling better. So if you're having neck pain where this is getting worse while doing, okay, this is something that you wanna go see your physical therapist, your doctor, your chiropractor about. But for a lot of people, this can be very safe and can actually help alleviate some of that tension in the short term. So let's take that down. Now, if you do have access to something like this and uh, you get a lot of that upper trap pain a lot after you're lifting, I love a product like this called a Theracane. It's only about 25 or $30 on Amazon, but basically you're gonna take that hand you're gonna find that upper trap area and then you're just going to pull down. And again, you can hold it down in that area for 20, 30, even uh, seconds up to a minute. And then also you can do some of that ART again where we tack it down we move the head back and forth. So there's a couple different techniques that you can use, but something like this can be really helpful, especially if you feel like you're not able to get enough pressure into that upper trap with the ball alone. You don't have a friend to be a mean massage therapist to you you can get into a lot of those areas with a Theracane. So that is soft tissue work. So that's gonna be your uh, step one for dealing with any type of neck pain that you get in that upper trap after lifting. This is how you're going to next address why the issue started in the first place. A lot of times we see people develop a lot of those upper trap issues because they have an imbalance where their lower trap is very weak relative to their upper trap. So they're very upper trap dominant and they're just overusing those muscles compared to the balance that we wanna see with some of the lower fibers of that muscle. So Darren, jump up here on your stomach. Um, what we're gonna do today is a strength stability test. So this is how you test for lower trap weakness. We want to do this side to side and see if an imbalance comes out. So scoot towards me. We're going to do his left side first. He's going to come up at an angle, thumb up in this position, running down this way is how the lower uh, trap portion runs. So we're testing specifically that part of the muscle. So in this position, I'm going to have him hold thumb up. I'm going to apply pressure, not just quickly, but slowly increasing the load for a couple seconds. So I'm going to say, hold it hold, 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 about four, five seconds. We're seeing how strong is he? How much can he resist that position? Okay, and then always test both sides. And what we're looking for is, is there an imbalance side to side? So in this position, again, we're at that angle, running with the lower portion of the trap muscle from right here, pushing down, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I'm seeing, is he maybe weak? And that just drops quickly. I'm looking for, does he compensate with his upper trap? Sometimes as I start to push down, you're gonna see this upper trap really kick on. That's showing that he's clearly compensating and trying to overuse that upper trap. I see this in a lot of my Olympic weightlifters and my CrossFitters who are just so over trap dominant with a lot of their movements. They don't know how to use these muscles very well with the lower portion of the trap. So they overuse that area. So if your neck pain is on the right side, for example, and I'm in this position and I find a lot of weakness or a lot of compensation, 
That's a sign that this imbalance is likely part of the why behind that neck pain in the first place. And if we only do soft tissue work, if we only do massage in that area, we're only treating one part of the pie, we're not actually getting to the why, and it's always going to, or have a high likelihood of coming back. We always need to address symptoms and the underlying cause if we wanna find a full fix. So let's talk about if we found that imbalance, what do we do next? We're gonna do some strength and stability exercises for the lower trap. Here are three different exercises that you can do for low trap strengthening. The first is called prone horizontal abduction. We'll just call it a lateral arm raise. And what we're gonna do is have the thumb up. So this is what you're gonna do. In this position, scoot towards me just a little bit more. With the arm out to the side, the cue is to engage the shoulder blade back first with a little retraction and then bring the arm out to the side. Something like this, he's going to hold it up here for three to five seconds. He's gonna feel the mid and the low trap working really well. So these muscles down here and then back down. Common compensations will be to see a lot of shrugging. So show what a bad one looks like. If we shrug up and then come out to the side, clearly he's overusing his upper trap. Obviously that's one reason why he potentially may be getting a lot of that painful trigger point in that upper trap area. So come back down. Again, let's show a good one. So he's going to retract back. So he's using these muscles. Very good, up, thumb is up. He's holding this position for again, three to five seconds. Sometimes I'll start people at 10 to 15 reps. And then eventually we can go up in weight. So there's no minimum or maximum amount of weight. You wanna be able to get through the full uh, set of 10 to 15 reps without any compensation and then move up in weight as you can. I've seen a lot of athletes go up to 10 uh, or so pounds with something like this for that amount of reps and duration. Now, how do we progress this? Let's go to all fours. So let's go to a quadruped position. In this position, we're gonna do the exact same motion, but because he's on all fours right now, he's gonna bring in a little bit more core stability emphasis. Again, the idea is that with a lot of these aches and pains that we get, even though the pain is localized to one point, there's often more of a global issue in the way in which the body's being used. So by adding just a little bit more core stability emphasis, it can make these rehab exercises just a little bit more efficient at just creating a great uh, environment for healing. So arms off to the side of the bed. All I'm gonna have him do is stiffen his core and then do that same movement again. So stiff here, then raise up. Again, five seconds or so, and then he's going to come back down. So this would be a progression of the one where he's laying on his stomach. Now, let's go to the next exercise. Let's go back down on your stomach and scoot towards this way a little bit. And arm's gonna be right here. This is called the prone external rotation exercise. And the idea with this is it's great at enhancing posterior shoulder uh, strength and stability and also mid and low trap specifically uh, strength. So if we have an imbalance that we commonly see where that upper trap is so dominant, this is an excellent exercise. This is the, the first step in learning how to do this, the most baby uh, bottom of the pyramid exercise. In this position right here, all he's going to do is make a fist, Elbow stays on the ground and he's going to pick that fist off the bed. So he's gonna externally rotate. And you can see this is difficult. He's unable to get a lot of motion right here. What you wanna see is no compensation up here. So if he were to come up, but really, really take that entire shoulder off, clearly he's compensating and moving with his torso rather than just getting pure external rotation. So elbow stays here, shoulder stays there. He's just going to pick that shoulder up and then he's gonna hold that for three to five seconds. Feel these muscles working pretty good. Excellent. So something like this, I would have him do maybe 10, 15, sometimes even 20 reps and really get those muscles working. And then we can progress up from there. So prone external rotation, here's how you progress it. We're actually gonna slide off the bed and have him control that motion through a greater range. So scoot towards me. Let's have that arm over the edge of the bed. So from here, what we're gonna do is first come up into that uh, position out to the side. So he's going to row to 90 degrees, then rotate up. And then again, from here, he's gonna be holding for three to five seconds. Now, this is a difficult exercise for a lot of people to do. Come back down and then forward. A lot of people, when they get here, first off, they do a couple different things. 
The shoulder rolls forward. They may feel the front of the shoulder. They row back. They don't know how to stiffen here and then rotate purely around the shoulder joint. From here, they will, even, will sometimes even use that upper trap as compensation. So make sure that you can do the regressed version of this first before coming to this one. But it's row to 90 degrees, lock this in, pure rotation back, good. Holding right here, again, right here, we're getting the mid trap, we're getting the low trap, posterior rotator cuffs working really hard. This is an excellent stability drill. If you're feeling that upper trap kicking on too much, clearly we're doing not enough down here, so I would regress back to the other one. You don't want this upper trap kicking on too much. Clearly it's gonna be working a little bit because it's part of the stabilization complex, but I don't want it overworking. You don't wanna get fatigued up here. Very good, and then back down and forward. Something like this, again, you can slowly build up in weight. Um, and this is an excellent exercise I've used with a lot of athletes, uh, particularly Darren while he was going through his shoulder rehab back in the day. So let's jump on up. Here is our last exercise. One of my favorite low trap exercises that most people don't think about because a lot of times the lower trap is activated uh, only above that 90 degrees is just a simple external rotation. So let's have you stand up into this one. So this is the external rotation W. This is an excellent exercise for shoulder strength and stability, something that you can use as a warm up before any type of lifting that you're doing. Um, and especially helpful in a lot of rehab situations, particularly with someone that's having shoulder pain, pain uh, upper back pain, and especially that upper neck pain that so many people get. In this position, the elbows are staying close to the body, not hugged too close, but close to the body, and we're purely rotating out to the side. Once you get out there, you're then going to hold for five to 10 seconds. Now, uh, one of the common compensations some people will get uh, or complaints is they'll feel their bicep tendon on the front side of the body. If that happens, just bring the elbows a little bit further forward and then rotate from there. But research has shown this to be an excellent exercise at activating the lower trap. And again, that common imbalance that we see is the upper trap is just so dominant in so many people. We have that imbalance where the lower trap is not doing its job as well. And when you have an excessive imbalance, it can be part of the factor in why we develop a lot of issues like that upper trap pain after lifting. So something like this, 10 reps for 10 seconds, or if you wanna go more reps, do less time. So maybe 20 reps for a five second hold, and then you're good. So that is the W external rotation drill. So guys, that is it for today's video on how to treat that upper neck pain, particularly in the trap that we get so often after lifting. Hope you now understand that we want to address the symptoms with some soft tissue work and then also address the cause so that we're getting that full comprehensive treatment program. If your neck pain is not getting any better with any of the stuff that we're doing or it's getting worse, please go see a skilled practitioner that understands how to treat you as an entire person and not just try to take the symptoms away. So if you go to a chiropractor or physical therapist or doctor and they're only looking at the symptoms, you're probably not at the right person. Please go find someone that knows how to take a comprehensive, holistic approach to treating because that's how we fully get over issues and make sure that they don't come back. So thank you guys so much for checking out today's video on Squat University. Please subscribe to the channel if you find the videos that I'm making helpful. And until next time, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people.